Hey, scored players, summer is here. No time to slack off and get lazy. Time to get active and stay active. Now I have your first summer break challenge. This is kind of an experiment and who doesn't like experiments? They're tons of fun. So this is what I want you to see. I want you to see what activity gives you more points. Now there's lots of things that you like to do over the summer. Maybe you like to do screen time. Maybe you like to get out there and play with your friends, going swimming or playing a sport. And I'm pretty sure your mom and dad appreciate when you help around the house doing chores. So I want you to do a variety of, of activities and I want you to see which one gives you more points. Does doing screen time give you more points? Now remember, you want two hours or less of screen time, so don't spend all day in front of the screen. Does doing swimming give you more points than mowing the lawn? Does mowing the lawn give you more points than doing dishes or cleaning your room? Does going on a hike give you more points? Just try a bunch of different activities. Keep track of the activities and when you're doing, and then you can go onto the website and see which activities give you more points. So this is how you're gonna keep track. First thing you need to do is you need to sync your device. Second, you need to go onto the website. Now, once you log onto the website, you're gonna come down to the drop-down menu and click on activity charts. When you do that, it's gonna show all your activity points for each day. So it'll give you a total. When you hover over it, you can see how many points. So you can see on June 14th, I got 93,136 points. If you click on that day, then it breaks it up into 15 minute slots. The next thing is you can hover over it to see how many points you got for a certain time. So at 11 a.m., I got 1,896 points. Then you can actually tag what you were doing. Maybe you were at an amusement park, at the beach, baseball, basketball, choosy activity. We're gonna say that I was dancing because I do that a lot. And then click go. It tags your activity for what you're doing, and it also helps you to see how many points you got for that activity. So you can see it's pretty easy to keep track of how many points you got for each activity. Once you do your experiment and you find out what activity creates the most points, I want you to email me, and the email address will be in the comment section of the video. Or you can actually comment on the video and say what activity gave you the most points. So what are you waiting for? Get active and stay active. Now the last thing I want to tell you is about the summer challenge that SCORED is putting on. Okay, so to learn about this challenge sponsored by SCORED, why don't you go to SCORED.com, click on Login, and you'll see up here on the banner it says SCORED Summer Games. Click on that banner and it will download a PDF file that gives you all the information about the SCORED games. I'm not going to tell you about them, you need to do the research. Now the last thing I want to remind you is if you have trouble navigating the website or syncing your device, go to score.com and make sure that you click on this button here that says help. This will take you to all kinds of answers about SCORED and how to navigate the website and any questions that you may have. So now you have your challenges. What are you waiting for? Get up off the couch and go. Time to get active. And don't forget to let me know which activity creates the most points. I'll see you throughout the summer.